Hey, you guys. Hey there, my travel and Pisces peeps. What's up, fam? All right, so can anybody tell me where we are? All right, so I'm sure you already know where we are because I already gave you the biggest clue ever at the beginning of this video. But I got a question for you. Can somebody explain to me how those little boys rode their bike from their house all the way here? Yes, so the rocks are in Haystack, no, it's Haystack Rock in- Canyon Beach. And the house- Can excuse me, Cannon Beach, not Canyon Beach. Cannon, Cannon Beach. Beach. Cannon Beach. And the house that they lived in is it's in, in Astoria. Astoria. So that's probably about an hour and 15, 20 minutes maybe away. Drive, yeah. So that's a hell of a long ride on a bike. That's crazy. Unless so. those tunnels that they uh, got swooped down in when they was in the in the caves brought them all the way here. I don't, I don't, I don't think those, those were too long. All right, so we were trying to see if we can go find One-Eyed Willie's treasure, but um, doesn't look like we can get any closer than we are right now, so that might be a wash. But I don't need One-Eyed Willie's she got her right sloth here. right here. Yeah. I'm her sloth. Yeah. All right, guys. So, all right. What are we gonna do next? I guess we're gonna go check out a story and let you know what's going on up there. Yep, so. yep. So, come on, follow us along. here on the beach besides Goonies. Um, Point Break for one and then a few others that I read about but oh, they're over here taking some pictures having fun. You can see a little bit of the cave um, that's the entrance into Haystack Rock over here. Just a little but they have it all roped off, um, not only so that people could social distance, but right now uh, there's an endangered bird that uh, nests on the rock. So they don't want anybody in there messing with it. Um, if you're going to come to Haystack Rock, there is a huge, a large parking lot, public parking lot, it doesn't cost anything for both cars and RVs. It's about, I'd say a half a mile south of the rock. So you just park there and then walk the beach up. Um, you want to make sure to check low tide though, because if you don't, you're not going to get anywhere near the rock because all the water comes all the way up here. So you definitely wouldn't be able to do it. And then the other thing, let me tell you, this water, if you've never been to Oregon, this water is freezing. When I say it feels like I am stepping in an ocean of icicles or ice cubes, I'm serious. So go put your hand in a bowl of ice cubes real quick and that's what it feels like. This water is freezing, freezing. There's no way I could even go diving in this water. It's, it's crazy. Hey, what's Me tree. What's good, brother? How cold is that water? Oh, I'm going back to Florida because I, Water should not be that cold, people. And I'm surprised to see that there's actually some people in the water. Like, that's it's crazy. I'm a crazy person, but I still will not get inside that water. I'm sorry. No, I that did water it as a kid, is. But that's too cold. It just the analogy that I told you before you stepped in it. It's like putting your hand or your foot in a bowl of ice cubes, isn't it? Yep. It's it's yep. that cold. It is freezing. But nonetheless, it was fun coming and checking out. Yeah, it was, awesome. rock. it was awesome to see it. Seeing the Goonies rock, yep. you know, because... Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys! It's one of our favorites. Um, you know, Dimitri grew up on it. Aaron just watched it not too long ago. I still don't understand how I met a man, married a man that had never seen Goonies, never seen Lost Boys, all these other, like, classics from back in the day. But, yeah, I love them anyway. So at least he gets to experience them now with me. Yep. So anyway, all right, we are going to head up to Astoria. Go check that out, see if we can find the house, see if there's any other uh, Goonie related items or sights to see. 
and we're gonna bring you guys along. So we will check y'all later. Till now, until then, ciao for now. Ciao for now. Hey, what's up, fam? All right, so today we are touring Astoria, Oregon. For all my Goonies fans out there. Yeah, we're gonna go see if we can find One-Eyed Willie. And Sloth, right? Yes, yes, yeah, definitely Sloth. Sloth. All right, guys, let's go check out Oregon. I mean, oh, wait, let's go check out Astoria. <laughs> we've already been checking out Oregon. Let's go check out Astoria. All right, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Alright guys, so we just happened to be driving through downtown Astoria and we've seen this long line. So we're like, what the heck is going on? What's this long line for? So apparently it's a food truck that has fish and chips. Oh, it's a food boat. A food boat, excuse yeah, me, it's not okay. a truck. It's a truck shaped like a boat. Um, but some of the people in line said that this is the best fish and chips in town. So of course, being the foodies that we are, we jumped in the line. So we'll let you know how long this line is and we'll let you know how long, how good these fish and chips are. I see what time it is. 209. All right, so it's 209. We'll see how long it takes us to get to the front of the line. The things we do for food, it's ridiculous. We'll just for food. All right, so just a quick check-in. Um, it's been about 20 minutes so far of being in line. Mm -hmm. Let's see how many people are behind us. <laughs> and let's see how close we got. All right, so I'm thinking probably another maybe, maybe another 10 minutes or so. We should be at, up at the watering point. We'll let you know what the fish and chips is about. I'm just hoping it's not like a really thick crust thick fish. batter yeah thick batter i want it to be more like a thin thick batter thin batter so we'll let you know in just a little bit about 10 minutes or so i got the good we got the meat no, no meat. Well, we got seafood. Ooh, look at that. Is it have water? Let's go try it out. Well, I can already tell you that the fries are frozen. They're not fresh fries. Right. But the... So, I was reading online, but I don't know if it's true or not, <clears throat> that the fish is uh, going to be fresh tuna. So, that's a little different. Um, all the other fish and chips that we've had on the coast were actually caught. And then they also will charge you for extra tartar sauce, which is weird because tartar sauce is not meant for me. Yeah. I don't know. But, but all they do is fish and chips, fish and chips, fish and yeah, chips. You ain't getting no shrimp. Long. You ain't getting no clams. No, no oysters. <laughs> no meat. You get fish and chips. See, I gotta try mine without tartar sauce for fish and chips. Alright, so the fish is definitely, it's not like fluff. It's thick fish, but it's, it's not 
like chewy. Mm -hmm. But it's not like flaky. And it's tuna. Yeah. It so. is tuna. Which makes sense because we're in Astoria and we saw that there is the um what? the pack what was oh, it? Oh the bumble bumblebee. Bumblebee cannery, so that makes sense. Yeah, we might have to go check that out. Yeah, that might be interesting. So. Alright guys, so if you're ever in Astoria and you happen to see that the bowl liquor, bowl the picker, bowl, the, bowl, the bowl picker is bowl open. Picker? Um, or a long line. line. Actually, how long did we wait in line? Let's see what time yeah, is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it is now 2.50. So we were in line for almost 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Along with everybody else, because as soon as we right. moved up, and it's still, people just kept it's coming. still a long line. Okay. So. All right, guys, so that concludes this little portion of our little tour of Astoria. And we're eating Wednesday. Right. So next we're gonna go check out, see if we can try and get close to the Goonies house. Without getting happens. arrested. So, which is luck. So, we'll check back with channel just a little bit. Ciao for now. Alright guys, so this is about as close as we're gonna get to the Goonies house. Yeah, we're not trying to go to jail for the Goonies. Alright, so they have signs up that say no parking, no standing, yeah. anytime, tollway zone. And we get it, we get yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I understand that, you know, the lady who owns the house doesn't want people all that. But you gotta also kind of look at the other side. Why would you buy a house knowing that, you know, it's sure. famous and it's been in movies and people are gonna want to come flock to it? and then you know not want people to see it and all that stuff so For sure. we, we see both sides of it but there is a long private driveway so i can understand why she why all of the things are probably posted um because people are probably going up the private driveway to get to the house and that's yeah. no bueno so yeah. Yeah. and it does look like a street where there's a lot of traffic just going up and down yeah, so definitely. all right so we're gonna get out of here so that we, we don't cause any trouble but um yeah. like i said this is the closest we can get to the goonies so hey you guys you know I had to do it, right? Yeah.